My name is Alistair Smith and I'm a Mobile Operations Manager with Network Rail in the Edinburgh area. My current role is that of a Mobile Operations Manager. Effectively, the operation is keeping trains running and it's my job to ensure that passengers and freight get to where they need to be. And I do that purely by interacting with other departments, including external parties, to make sure that in the end of the day, the operation runs smoothly. So I spent some time as on secondment as a local operations manager, and through that time, it made me aware that there was these additional qualifications. When I first took an interest, I was aware that there was the certificate, the diploma, and the degree. On closer investigation, I realised that a lot of the certificate and diploma content I already had from my experience, and that's when the recognition of prior learning then came into play as I was able to meet the criteria through my experience. RPL allows people with different types of qualifications that are a little bit different from the norm that you would normally get in schools, colleges or university. To have those credited and use them towards a university education. I think RPL provides a really positive opportunity for people, particularly nurses for example, who have years of clinical experience, their leadership experience, and they're able to then reflect and use the SCQF framework to identify their learning and potentially transfer those into credits to allow them to access programmes of study. RPIL, which is recognition of informal learning, is experiential. So that's where employees learn skills on the job. And RPIL allows us to credit those, in other words, to, to match them up to the equivalency of university educations at, say, certificate or diploma or even degree level. And that allows them entry to university education. Originally having some apprehension about a non-traditional access to a, a degree course, at first I wasn't sure if my experience would actually be enough. The GCU CSIRO degree was actually quite dynamic in nature and it was covering a lot of the topics that I deal with in a more practical sense. So all that I had to do was demonstrate that I could meet the academic level to get myself onto the degree. It would mean that the majority of people out there, there's a very good chance you may have that experience and it may get you onto a, a degree or similar course. You only have to look at the SCQF framework and it's really interactive. So it's very quickly you're able to establish where a person's at with their knowledge and understanding. You know, if they are critical thinkers and they are able to really critically analyse something, you can see that level coming in you know, very quickly. So it's really important to identify that early so that they're entering a programme that, that works really well for them. The support offered by GCU was very clear from the beginning. There's a lot of information about joining the course at a later date, um, for example, at degree level. There was a lot of modules that were covering some of the things that I might not have done for quite a while, for example, essay writing and so on as well. So there was a lot of support initially on offer from the GCU so the benefits of the RPL for Alistair is that he could complete his degree in a short period of time. Entering at year three meant that he only had two years of the degree to do, rather than the full four years. So for us as employers, that was a benefit. So we didn't have to release him for as long, and meant that he would be upskilled in a short period of time. Well, we have uh, students coming into the university with a vast amount of experience that is highly applied in industry and is at the cutting edge. And if we combine that with the academic work that we do, there's a cross-fertilisation of knowledge, which is really very useful. It helps us to make our programmes more applied. It helps us to keep the content of our programmes more consistent. And also it allows the student to take some academic work back to industry, contextualise it and apply it. If there's anyone out there who's considering a similar route to what I've done, I understand there'll be feelings of apprehension, but by all means, please speak to your managers, download the brochure, and I would definitely recommend it as a path for anyone who's interested and broadening their career. Universities with the use of RPL have the opportunity to offer university level qualifications to uh, lots of different people from different walks of life. It's no longer a barrier to university if you haven't come through education in the traditional route, through school to gain university entry. The SCQF framework allows us to assess different people from all sorts of backgrounds, whether they've had formal education or not so that the doors of the university are open to just about everyone these days.